so good morning students today in the last class we had talked about the microbes in bio uh, biogas production today we will go for the next topic that is microbes as a bio control agents microbes as bio control agents okay so here this microbes as generally what do you mean by this bio control agents we will see that first okay here the bio control agent means sir are the bio control refers to it the uh, refers to the biological it refers to the biological methods for biological methods for controlling diseases and pests diseases and pest 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 means that is the insects okay pest so in what controlling plant diseases and pest which diseases that is the plant diseases and pest it refers to what biological method not a chemical no any chemical method it is one of the natural method in which there will be involvement of some other living organism by which they are controlling the diseases which are uh, harmful for what for the plant crops and the pest pest means that is the insects any larvae any microorganism okay such as bacteria you can take fungi so that uh, pest have to be controlled they, that has to be killed it should be completely prevented so that it should not uh, destroy or damage the plant okay so one more thing there one more word term i have written here it is a biological method for controlling the plant diseases the plant diseases also should be prevented prevented by what by the microbes here the microbes are the living organisms which will occur naturally okay these are the living organisms you can say such as the bacteria fungi viruses okay so these all are all are what these all are the microbes or the microorganisms so these all are the living organisms by using these these are some of the biological organisms the biological method for what for controlling the diseases in the plants and the pests in the plants okay so this is see in the modern society in today's day what in the modern society what is happening with sir here in this today's society or in the modern society there is an this problem whatever the disease plant diseases are there or whatever the pests which are going to destroy the plants uh, crop fields and all uh, what they are going in this problem of uh, plant diseases and pests uh, is increasingly day by day it is increasing day by day this problem of plant diseases and pests uh, it is increasing day by day to tackle from that problem or to overcome from that problem in the modern day they are using the chemicals what they are using they are using the chemicals to control that pest or the diseases so here what are the chemicals what we can call to that chemicals means so they are known as the insecticide insecticides and one more that is pesticides what do you mean by this insecticide and pesticide means sir these are some of the chemicals which are controlled which are using to 
control the control inside the side. Okay. Side means which are going to kill or you can put them blow. Control the insects. That chemical is known as the insecticide and pesticide which controls the pest. Okay, so this is known as the some of the chemicals which are using day by day as this problem is arising or increasing day by day. Okay, see these chemicals are whatever the chemicals are using for controlling the pest and insects, uh, these chemicals are toxic. This will be a very toxic substance. Toxic substance as well as the harmful substance. Okay, toxic as well as they, are, they will be a harmful substance. Uh, to whom? Extremely harmful. To whom? That is to the human beings. Not only to the human beings, it will be harmful. It will be harmful to the human beings and animals. Because, see, this is the crop field in which we are growing the vegetables. Along these vegetables, we are growing in this crop field many insects. And pets are going to destroy them day by day. What we will do is we will spray the chemicals or the chemicals which control the uh, insects uh, that is known as the insecticide. So we are spraying that chemical over the vegetables or the food what we are consuming. See, if we are spraying on that particular crop field or on that particular food, uh, what happens is the chemicals will uh, emerge into that vegetables uh, or whatever the food we are going to use. They will completely emerge into that. Yes, we are taking to the home, we are cleaning with water. But whether it is sure that the chemicals have been washed away? No. Okay, the chemicals will be marching into that particular food source. So what we are going to do, we are going to consume by washing some uh, some in a, some illiterate people, those who don't have the knowledge, they will not clean also with water. They will like that only they are going to consume. In that manner, it will be toxic and extremely harmful. Okay, to whom? To the human beings as well as for the animals. For example, here, along with these fruits and vegetables or whatever source, food source is there, there will be present some presence of some grass. Okay, grass also will grow around that crop field. So what I can observe the, for eating this grass, the animals will eat. Okay, if we spray all over on that field, the chemicals will emerge onto this grass also. That grass is going to be eaten by whom? By the animals, especially in the cattle. You can take cattle also or you can take herbivorous animals. So the animals are also going to be affected. See, it is not only affecting to the human beings or not to the animals, but also it is polluting. These chemicals is also polluting to the environment or it is going to cause the environmental pollution. This, this see, these chemicals are going to cause the, see, first of all, it will affect the, first point, affects the, to human beings and animals, as well as, this also causes the, the environmental pollution. How it is going to cause the environmental pollution sir? because it will affect the water. See, for example, around this crop field, there is one small water body. This is the water body. 
first of all, it will affect you to be soiled. That the chemicals are going to emerge into the soil by which there will be causing a soil pollution. Okay, then if here there is a, a water body just beside this crop field, then they will release or that particular chemical will flow into what? Into these water bodies. It also causes the water pollution. Yes, sir. Then they are spraying on what? On the crop field. During the spray, it causes uh, if that particular chemicals will uh, fly here and there into the air, which causes the air pollution. Altogether, we can see it is, it is affecting to the air, it is affecting to the water as well as the soil. Altogether, it can cause the environmental pollution. Okay, except this one, see, it is causing, it is affecting or it, it is the main reason for environmental pollution that is for the soil and especially for the soil and for the ground water. Okay, then it is also affecting uh, foods, whatever the foods you are going to consume. To them also it is affecting food, vegetables. Okay, food, vegetables and uh, crop plants. So, in this way, these chemicals are very harmful and toxic to what? To the human beings, animals, to whole environment, it will be very harmful. Okay. So, these things uh, are increasing day by day. But we are not noticing that things. Uh, we are just getting the food and we are going to eat it. But the thing is that, that food, which is going to come from the crop fields, agriculture fields and all, uh, that is a very highly toxic and extremely harmful to us. Uh, Okay, so in this way, we should avoid the using of insecticide, pesticide, or altogether, we should avoid of using the chemicals to control the insect or pest. But what we have to go for, which method we have to go for, means we have to go for the biological method. Okay, so what is the need of bio pesticides? See, how do the insecticide and pesticide are there, which are the chemicals to control this? Insect and pest like that only bio pesticide is there. What it is that is the bio pesticide. Bio pesticide means uh, by using a biological method, they are going to kill the what pest which are going to destroy the or damage the crop fields or causing the plant diseases. So let's see about the bio pesticide. Next, need of bio pesticide. You have already came to know the meaning of bio pesticide. It means the biological method to control the pest. Here, presently, the pest is pest control is generally done by the use of chemical pesticides what I had explained to you. And the trend is increasing after year to year. So, this chemical pesticide are divided into two categories. What are that? Two categories that is the weedicide 
and one more that is herbicides. One is the weedicide and another is the herbicide. Weedicide means a which is used to control the control the weeds. Weeds means what? That is unwanted plants. Unwanted plants which will learn what why we don't want that unwanted plant. For example, here we are growing a weed. These are the weed plants. Okay. And along with them, there will be some other plants are going to grow with them. Okay. So the rate of growth will be very much higher than that the weed. What they will do means so whatever the nutrients which is required for the growth of the weed plant, that nutrients are going to absorb by what? That is by what? That is the weeds. Okay. Due to which uh, these weeds are making them to unfit for the growth. Otherwise, uh, they are inhibiting the growth of the some other plants. That is the reason we don't want that unwanted plants. In agricultural field, in a crop field or in your gardens, you can see whatever the useful plants you are going plants you are going to grow along with them some unwanted plants are going to grow which will be which will be big leafy some water grass uh, are going to grow that grass that uh, particular leafy plants what they are going to do is they are going to absorb their nutrients by which uh, the useful plants are not getting the sufficient nutrients by which they unable to grow. So that's why what they are going to, to use is they are going to use the chemicals and the chemicals you have got the attention that is the weedicide. And next thing that is the herbicide. Herbicide means what? That is uh, same thing what I had told you of uh, unwanted plants herbs they are going to control. Control the herbs. The next term here, that is one more thing, insecticide, what I have told you just now, one more thing, that is the rodentocyte, insecticides, which controls the insects, except that there will be presence of rodentocytes, rodentocytes means which controls the rats. Okay, as you know, one more animal or one more rats or mice, etc. So, whatever the rats will be there, mice, mice will be there, they are also responsible for the destroying or damaging the crop plants. So, that rats or mice, they are using some of the chemicals, they are keeping them near the plants so that they will come and eat them and they will. They are going to kill them. So here these are some of the categories. These are some of the chemical pesticides which are having a very harmful effects on the human animals as well as on the what we call that is on the environment. So here, see, yes, sir, there is no uh, chance to get rid of this problem. But uh, what happens is sir, some of the ill effects of improper usage of pesticide which may cause a major crop destroyment or uh, destroying uh, which may also uh, destroy the useful fauna or flora that means which may destroy uh, useful plants or animals so it may decrease the biodiversity so whatever it may be there so this is about what chemicals so next we will go <coughs> But we have to study about the biological method. So in that we will study now. That is about the biocontrol agents. By taking some of the examples, specifically a specific uh, living organism to which plant it is going to control, we will see here.
the biocontrol agent biocontrol agents in that biocontrol agent first we will see about the bioherbicide what is bio herbicides see here bio herbicides are the living organisms living organisms which controls the which controls the weeds or herbs or else unwanted plants Okay, so here yeah, bio herbicide means these are the living organism which controls the weeds, herbs are the unwanted plants. For example, first bio herbicide which was developed, first bio herbicide which was developed in the year 1961. First. bio herbicide which was developed in 1961 and the name of that bio herbicide is the myco herbicide what it is myco herbicide sometimes they will ask for one mark okay like this question what do you mean by myco herbicide give an example so this myco herbicide this is derived from a fungus this is myco herbicide derived it is derived from a fungus from a fungus and the name of that fungus is phyto 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 thora palmino mora phyto thora palmino mora this is the name of fungus which is used as a myco herbicide okay so to which unwanted plant or to which unwanted weed or herbs which is going to control which sir which controls the growth of controls the growth of milk weeds growth of milk weeds okay milk weeds milk weed wine in citrus orchards milk weed wines in citrus orchards see whatever the citrus fruits or vegetables will be there in that citrus plants whatever the milk weed milk weed means you had uh, commonly you can you had seen i think you had seen uh, that some of the if you turn some of the leaves or stem there will be milk is going to separate from the plant that is a very unwanted plant so their growth is uh, controlled by what by a um, fungus uh, that is known as the phytophthora palmivora okay keep in mind one of the myco herbicide what is it is derived from a fungus one of the name they had mentioned phytophthora palmivora which controls the milk weed wine sir in which plant means that is in the citrus orchids okay in the citrus orchids and one more example is there of this biological method for controlling the weeds sir this is the first herbicide bio herbicide which is developed
one more example is there that is the biological another example from biological control of weed that is control of another example for biological control of weeds control of weeds one more example is to control the overgrowth of cacti is to control the overgrowth of cacti okay so cactus plant thorns which we have in the thorns like that plants will be there the growth is going to be uh, rapidly growing okay so that growth is controlled uh, whatever the growth of cacti will be there their growth is controlled by introduction of control over growth of cacti so they are going to inhibit their growth so that their growth should be controlled if their growth is controlled they are unable to grow means they will not affect to any other plants or the crop field so this is the another example of what bio herbicide see except this uh, living organism there will be a uh, in uh, what we call uh, a latest techniques uh, are introduced for controlling the weeds uh, see here what it is means sir uh, latest techniques to control the control the weeds so what is that is what is that latest technique over here sir so that is the transgenic crop plants the development of for the production of production of transgenic crop plant crop plants and they have developed this transgenic crop plants such as like tobacco tomato etc like tobacco tomato etc so these are the plants which is developed which is produced at the transgenic crop plants what do you mean by this transgenic crop plants means sir uh, by genetic engineering method by what by genetic engineering they have developed this crop plants which is known as the transgenic crop plants so what they in, uh, what they are going to do means sir uh, they are going to introduce a herbicide resistant gene into what into the crop plants by which method by the genetic engineering introducing or there is an introduction of herbicide resistant gene gene into crop plant okay see here what they are going to do means so, for example this is the plant of what tobacco <coughs> this is the gene okay gene for the herbicide herbicide resistant means they will kill the herbs 
This plant has the ability to kill the herbs. How means they are introducing into this plant. So that around this plant there will be no growth of any herbs. Okay. Here they had developed the plants like tobacco, tomato, etc. By which method they are you know, producing this transgenic crop plants means that is by the genetic engineering. Okay, in detail about this transgenic crop plants and about this genetic engineering method, so you will study in the biotechnological chapter. Okay, the next uh, we will go for the next topic. This is about the bio herbicide. Next, we will go for the bio insecticide. See here in bio herbicide, you had studied about the two examples one is myco herbicide, another is about that cochineal insect. Okay, so after that, there will be some modern techniques are there to control that weeds, means that is the transgenic crop plants, which are by genetic engineering, they are going to introduce the herbicide resistant gene into the crop plants. Next up, we will go for the bio insecticide. Next up, second one, bio insecticides. Bio insecticides. So that is a. These are the living organism which helps in the biological control of insect pests. These are the living organisms. Which help in biological control, which help in biological control of, of insect pest. Okay, here in this bioinsecticide. One of the harmful, see, number of harmfuls and their larvae are going to affect the crop fields, which will act as a predators or pathogen. Either they will damage or either they will cause the diseases in the plants. So, one of the examples is there of this bio insecticide that is the ladybird beetle. See, this is one of the insect which will be black in color and they have the red markings. So, this is one of the insect which controls the aphides. Controls the aphides. Aphide is one of the major or one of the insect which is majorly damaging the crop field. Aphides is one of the plant pest. Next one, one more example that is the dragonfly. Dragonfly. This is the another example. This dragonfly controls the mosquitoes. And this dragonfly as it is controlling the mosquitoes, it is also known as the mosquito hawk. Okay, except this, one bacteria is there in this microbial biocontrol agent. That name of that bacteria is the Bacillus thuringiensis. What it is? Bacillus. Genesis. This is one of the cross shaped bacteria.
cross shaped bacteria see their spores okay this bacteria their spores are available in a powder form in the sachets it is available in a powder form so what they will do means they will take that powder and mix it with the water and they will spray on the crop plants so what what is the action of this uh, bacteria on the insects is so that the bacteria that is bacillus thuringiensis which is also written as the bt see this is one of the important question for two marks okay what it is bacillus thuringiensis so which is the spores are used as a powder form for controlling the uh, what is that insects how they are going to control the insects see here Their spores are sprayed on crops. So, this uh, powdered form spores are eaten by eaten by whom? By the insects. Either it may be the insects or their larvae. So, here they are going to eaten by what? Insects or their larvae. After eating that insect or larvae, see for example, this is the plant on which there is a presence of a powder spores of the basal thuringiensis. Some insects will come and they will eat this spores. What happens is, sir, these spores are going to in the this spores produces first of all this spores produces an a protein. And what is that protein? So it produces an insecticidal, insecticidal tri protein. Which protein they are going to produce? That is the insecticidal tri protein, and which is known as the cure. This is very important point. Which protein is produced? That is the Curocide, which is one of the insecticidal cry protein. Why we are calling it as the cry protein? Means, sir, see, this protein is in the crystalline form. That's why we had mentioned it as the cry protein. And uh, it is this protein is one of the toxic substances. See, after eating the spores, that spores will have this toxic substance. That this is the stomach of what insect? in which it will enter what that thuracide is going to enter because the spores are going to produce that chemical or that toxic substance why it is going to enter the cells of the stomach are going to destroy it otherwise these are the cells of the stomach the cells of the stomach are going to burst If the cells of the stomach are going to burst, then the stomach is also going to be burst. Okay. Then finally, the insect larvae or the insect it is going to be killed or it is going to die. Okay. So what happens means, sir, uh, by using some of the modern technique, what I had told, uh, by using the DNA recombinant technology, the scientist has been developed uh, some of the BT genes. They had taken the genes from this bacteria, and it is introduced into the some of the crop plants, and they develop some of the uh, plants uh, such as the BT cotton. BT cotton is there. BT BT tomato is there. Okay, like this, they had developed many crop plants. Okay, so this is about the bacteria. In the next class, we will uh, see some more examples. 
uh, such as fungi is also acting as a biocontrol agent. Fungi is there, virus is there. Then next we will go for the microbes as biofertilizer. Okay, thank you.